Welcome back to Homestead Aquarius, where Wilson and uh, me and the kitchen door table gonna bring you another video. Now, I haven't made a video in a while, and I was hoping that uh, this package would come in. Indeed, it came in today. Today is Tuesday, and I'm so excited. Look at what I got, y'all. Some of y'all know what it is, and some of you don't, okay? So, this is obviously a mail call video, but it's going to be a little bit more than that, and I've seen what's in here, and I'm so excited, okay? What's in the little envelope right here is the culmination of last year's Shed Wars competition. There's a lot of work that has gone into this package right here and what's inside, okay? Um, I want to tell you, <laughs> these dogs are, are going to be making the video with me the whole time and the construction work that's going on behind me as well. So we'll have to deal with that. So I got a mail call video. Now, I and, and a few other people, probably close to 30 people, just got the same thing in the mail or they're about to. It's a great day. This is the, the, the time that we look forward to in Shed Wars when we finish up the season and we, we've got the, um, uh, uh, the seed packages have been sent out. Now, somebody's killing a dog, I think. John at Will It Grow has put all these seed packages together and sent them out. The man has worked extremely hard on, on that. And you see right here, that says $4.70. Now you take that $4.70 and you multiply it out times about 30 people or more and you have some kind of idea of what money's been spent. Just on postage alone, it's been about $150. The seeds that are inside here cost money to buy, okay? And all the, all the other extras that went in to this final culmination of a small gift of seeds to share amongst all the uh, qualifying team members. Oh, there goes a little more of my coffee. Um, this is not a polished video today, okay? I'm tired, I'm, I'm fighting a bug. I think I'm trying to make some headway with it, but it's been for three weeks, okay? It's been for at least three weeks, this thing just just getting on me and getting worse and getting worse and getting worse. And uh, and and unfortunately, I think I've, I've taken a hit to my lung capacity with this, but I do see a light at the end of the tunnel. I do see myself getting better, thank God. Okay. Um, whew, man. But think about that almost five dollars a piece to do these and that's just postage not counting the purchase of the seeds not counting anything else or the work that's done to go into any of this and you know what it cost me it cost me nothing right it cost me nothing just like it cost to our participants in shed wars nothing not a thing in sh Okay, in, in my case, it technically did cost me a little bit, okay? But not much. John is a very generous young man. He's a hard worker, and he believes in taking care of people, especially people that take care of him. He's old school, okay? Old school. These seeds are special to me. Last year was a rough year in Shed Wars Force. We had many ups and downs, and we had a lot of downs. We had jackasses hurting us. 
Yeah, and I said it. We had people that were absolute jerks. We've had people that were jerks hurting us. Um, uh, terrible people hurting us since the very, very first day. And we pressed on from back in 2019. You know, there's always somebody willing to come in and try to hurt you and what you're doing. We've had to deal with that. I'm sick of dealing with it. Okay. But last year was a tough year. We pressed on. We're keeping on going. So these seeds are very important. Um, all of us who have made it through uh, the process and have qualified for them, we all share this, this, this one seed package together. I think that's pretty neat. It's a, uh, when I show you these, you're, you're gonna love this, okay? Now, what do you have to do to qualify? In order to qualify for Shed Wars and, and to be one of the people that's in Shed Wars and qualify for the seeds or whatever else we do, you have to follow the rules. We put a lot of effort and time into making the rules as simple as possible and to help people all throughout do their very best job, okay? We have to have rules because it's a competition. If we were to make it any easier for people, especially for the lazy ones, especially for the ones that just want us to give them something, we would just make it simple and say, hey, send us an email and we will send you a whole bunch of seeds at our cost. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to make a video. Just here, here's free stuff. But that's not a competition. That's not a game. That's not fun. That's just people saying, gimme, 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 gimme. That's all it is. So it's a game. And it's a game that John and I uh, work very hard at making a, a good thing for people. Today, I spent a good deal of my time trying to help someone get their video correct, get their title on their video correct. Why is it important that, that you know a title be a certain way? Because we have so many people in the competition that we want to make sure that everybody's videos are found, okay? You see that? I made Homestead Aquarius, not only me, Wilson, okay? Myself. And the kitchen door table. Yeah. I'm going to bring you our entry video. It is John and I both made an entry video. He made one and I made one. We told people exactly what to do so that we could all be on the same page. He told you how to title it. Okay. We've gone through an awful lot of entry videos. I think they're now about 30. And some people have followed that exactly to a T. And for those of you that have done that, you followed the instructions. I said, if you title your video just like that right there, you're not going to go wrong. Okay. Some people heard. Some people heard me say that. Okay. Some people didn't. I spent today the better part of two to three hours of my day sending emails back and forth to somebody that just didn't get it, okay? It's so simple. They just didn't get it. That was my time wasted. I put the instructions out there. John put the instructions out there. And you know what I found out at the end of it? They said, well, they were doing what somebody else had told them to do. Okay, well, that was kind of foolish, right? So here's what I'm going to tell you. If you're one of them people out there that needs to, you know, you can't figure out what to do, here's a clue. Look for the official videos to tell you what you need to do. Those will come from me and John. You go listening to somebody else, and you're not going to get what you need to hear. Hang on, I'm going to have to reset this thing. This thing cuts off at uh, cuts off at a ten-minute recording time. I still don't know why, so I have to 
break it up a little bit. So that's a 10, 10 minute warning from me. Okay. Um, we make rules videos for the competition, official rules videos. We make official rules videos for the gladiator uh, challenges that we do and anything else that you need to see. Hear my words now and follow my advice. Watch those official videos to find out your information. Leave a comment to let us know that you have seen it and you understand. Elsewise, we'll probably have to track you down. We don't want to do that. And it's all an effort to do what? So that we can have as many people as we can, having fun, and at the end of the competition, enjoying this little seed package right here. This thing that, that, that does not cost you any money, right? We don't charge people to join Shed Wars. And I think maybe sometimes that's a mistake because we put so much of our time in it. Look at this, okay? Look at all of this right here. This is what John has sent me, okay? The man is awesome. He sent me a sticker. I've got a few stickers he's already sent me, okay? This seed, this seed package is unique in the world. The only ones that have this are Shed Warriors that have completed the Shed Wars 21 season, okay? These are special. Uh, this is special. This, are, th these are Mammoth Mora sunflower seeds. This is a special uh, heirloom breed um, that John has known about from it's either Brazil or the Azores, I'm not sure. It's special, you can't just find them anywhere. And he has got a competition. He's asking for anybody that wants to grow against him that you can do so. You can have some of these seeds and enter this competition. Get with him and he will send you some. Um, I'm not sure it may cost you, okay? But 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 find him. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll try to leave a link in the description there, okay? Those are going to be special. It's heirloom. Um, John has gone through so much effort, okay, and everything that he's done to make everything that we do a professional experience for those who would be professional. I'm going to tell you what, I've been pretty mad today, okay, I've been pretty mad uh, about some of the things that have gone on recently and it's kind of coming to a, 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 a point with me and I'm about ready to go to war with some people okay I'm peaceful I think most of us are I don't go to war that easily do you see this it's something that came from John he made this made this with his own hands it's personalized for me. How do you beat that? This is uh, Shed Wars 2021. That's an amazing amount of work and thought that's gone into making little mementos from this year. This year will not come back. It is a moment in time that has been shared by several people. These are famous, just in his own. This is, uh, this right here is, is, is some of John's very famous hot Portugal peppers. He's had them in the family for a long time. That's an heirloom. John knows about growing some peppers, and I am pleased and honored to, um, to have, to be able to take part in, uh, in this seed package. You know, very proud. Very proud to know John. He's old school. His parents came over from the Azores and brought him when he was a kid. 
it's uh, old world values that, that, that the man has and has made a difference in his life. One of the best, um, best people on this planet you can find is John. Now, that don't mean he ain't got his problems. He does have his little issues, and I have to deal with those. But I'm telling you what, quality is not one of them. The man is, um, he's an amazing man. He's been a good friend to me. And he's been a good friend to everybody in Shed Wars. Now, I haven't gone into some of the stuff that I wanted to about going to war with people, okay? I don't want to want to do that. I'm, this thing has gone too long. 16 minutes now so anyhow this is um this is a seed package that we get i can't wait john to grow these I'll show you what a hillbilly can grow or not grow uh up against you with these uh with these special sunflowers thank you for the sticker Thank you, John, for all the work that you've gone and, and done over the weeks that it took to build all of these special uh, seed packages for people. That, that's, that was, that's pure class right there, brother. Um, thank you for all the work that you've done. You, uh, you know, you, you're sitting there saying this is from John and Robert. Yeah, they're from, they're from John and Robert, all of this stuff. But uh, I know the truth, and the most of it is from John. Certainly, most all this work and, and the money, okay? Uh, John and I both pitched in, but uh, John's done some extra stuff there, all right? So, to all of you who are getting these seed packages, understand that there's a lot of work that's going into it. And um, you know what? At, at 17 minutes, there's a lot of work that's going into watching this video. Um, I thank you. Uh, maybe I'll keep my powder dry for another day on that other video. But, yeah, maybe I'll do that. Anyhow, y'all be good. And um, we'll see you next time. If you don't have your seeds yet, you should. Shed Wars 21 is over. Shed Wars 22 has already started in the Southern Hemisphere. Go find the people down there that are taking part in it. If you're in the Northern Hemisphere, get ready. If you want to join us, make an entry video. Do yourself a favor. Watch mine first so that you know how to do it and follow it. Um, and then get ready to have fun with us gonna be a great year let me give you a heads up that's a no that's a honking the honking says no i'll make another video y'all be good